she headed to New York, and I hear she asked the first cab driver to take her to the middle of things or whatever, and he took her to Times Square. <laughs> Wonderful. That cab driver has a real sense of humor, that's all I can say. She had $70, $75, something like that in her pocket. She had the doll under her arm, a little satchel of some sort. And I'm sure the most wide open, encompassing, vulnerable look in the world. Obviously the taxi driver didn't really know where it was all happening because he wouldn't have taken her to Times Square. But uh, Times Square is really disgusting. I'm sure it was really horrible, you know, uh, with that much money in your pocket. We were both still relatively poor, you know, and living in not such great places, you know, in the Lower East Side, uh, between the A and B Avenue living on popcorn and tuna fish, you know, just real basic, basic living with cockroaches and not much heat in the winter, that sort of thing. It was pretty disgusting. <laughs> but I think we had some fun, you know. She was starting to perform in clubs and uh, what we called track dates. So we were making money doing that and I was dancing with her. And she was developing a following here in the city, which obviously means a lot to somebody who's came here with $35 and her ballet slippers.